The local news from Fox 13. I'm Chris Cato. As the search continues for a serial bank robber, you may have seen the new approach. Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And this is something very unique. Well, maybe not so unique. But I kind of rushed the review because it's on sale right now on Amazon for $19.95. This used to sell for close to $80. Now, I don't think it was worth $80. Maybe $40. So I want to quickly tell you about it in case you're interested. You can get one of these off of Amazon. What it is, it is the iBox Century classic smart speaker with Amazon Alexa. And so it is a smart speaker and you can control it either by your phone and you have to set it up initially using your phone or once you've got Alexa up and running and connected to your network, then you can just use Alexa as the interface. I keep seeing Alexa and she keeps wanting to know what I want to do. Now I can turn off the microphone. So the microphone's off now. The light there is red, so she's not listening anymore, which I should have done before. Um, so it's twenty dollars. It's um, you get here. It's just four grins. It's eight inches by five inches by three inches. And it's heavy. It's close to three pounds. Now, it is, it's got a handle, but it's not portable. Well, it's portable, but it doesn't have any batteries. So you have to have it plugged in um, with the AC adapter. And what blew my mind when I first opened the box, and I meant to bring the box down, and I forgot. Hey, that's not important. Uh, it comes with, I think, three power connectors that plug into the power adapter module. And the first two I looked at were foreign. They were like from Europe and stuff like those funky looking big fat connectors. I thought, oh no, they sent me the foreign version. Well, there's an adapter for USB connector, wimpy USB connector, uh, not USB, AC connector. So, Boom, put that on, good to go. So that's nice they include all three. Um, the setup, uh, if you're used to setting up a smart device on your internet, um, such as Alexa, I have Alexa and I have the Google Mini Home, I think it's called. So I've, I've done it a couple of times. It, the manual, and the application, you have to put an application on your phone or tablet, goes through step by step, how do you get it set up? I didn't have any problems. But if you go to Amazon and you looked at the reviews, it only scored like a 3.5 out of 5. And I think it's mainly because it's a little difficult if you've never done one of those setups. It can be a little difficult. When I first opened this book, and I looked at, there's like one, two, three pages of setup because they give you infinite details, step by step. And when you run the whole application, it says do this, you do it, and it says do this, you do it. So straightforward, but when you first look at this manual, it's like, holy cow, I thought I could just plug it in and it would work. Well, that's one of the problems why I'm thinking I'm guessing why people don't like it so it's not a standalone radio it is a speaker with Alexa as a controller or your cell phone it has turn around here I'll, I'll get to all the buttons and knobs it has this is the uh, power adapter it has auxiliary input, so you can use this for a speaker for your computer. It has a WPS security mode if you choose to use it. And what, do you, what you're doing is you're connecting it to your router so that 
any device on your router, such as your cell phone or even your computer, can use this as a speaker through Wi-Fi or through auxiliary in or through Bluetooth. It's got Bluetooth. The controls on the top. Okay. Let me uh, get get the cheat sheet here. It's funny. It took me like 15 minutes to find the picture of the controls. They kept the pages were kind of stuck together for some reason. Very, very nice ma glossy manual. I mean, this this device looks like quality. Really, it does. It looks like quality. Anyway, so we've got. Um, this is right here. I just pushed that in the the, uh, the light turned red saying the microphone is turned off. So that's how you can turn the microphone on off so Alexa won't listen to you so you don't have to turn the whole thing off. The next one is um, if you have this off, you can tap this to have the mic on temporarily. The next one is the LED bar which glows different colors depending on what the status is. Right now it's uh, orange or red indicating that I've got Alexa input turned off. This is the mode selects for selecting um, on and off and whether it's using auxiliary input or Bluetooth input or Wi-Fi. And then um, these three buttons here are used for when you're playing music for going to the next track or go back a track or pause or play. That's those three buttons. Plus this button here is a dual function to pair Bluetooth. You push and hold that to pair it to another Bluetooth device. Here's a big volume knob. Now some people when they're looking at the ad they may think this is a tuning knob. It's, there's no tuning that way. You're not tuning any radio. There's no radio in this. It's got dual speakers. And, of course, it's an internet, I call it an internet radio for one thing. Because it has, and I don't think they listed here. Oh boy, I should have brought, oh I did bring my phone. Okay, so here's my cell phone that I can also use it to control it via their application. Let me just find it. Okay. It's called and yeah, I know it's not in focus. It's called I Dash Box Player. So that's how you control this box. And let me see if I can get it. I don't think you can see it. It probably won't focus. Let me move this back because my focus is probably way back here. Yeah, let me try to focus for you. Okay, when you bring the camera up and in, I'll try focusing. Yeah, I'm not very good at focusing. Um, let me go back. So, you might not be able to read this, but here's all the things you can do with it. And these are the... What am I going to call them? Uh, services. These are the services that comes with it. TuneIn, iHeart, Spotify, Tidal, and Napster. Of course, most of these you have to register. Most, many of them are free, but you still have to register. I've registered on TuneIn because um, I use TuneIn on my other Alexa and uh, device, my Echo Dot and my Google Mini Home. So I, I'm connected to TuneIn. So you can you can use this or your computer to select a tune-in station, or you can tell once you know one, you can tell the box here by a voice command to play something on tune-in. Now, one thing that is coming gone for me is <clears throat> tune-in, for instance, has a lot of music, audio, and stuff you can listen to, radio stations and everything. Well, they had, for a while, there was the local scanner, police, fire and EMS scanner, was on tune-ins. And I used to listen to it via my Echo Dot. Well, it's still listed, 
but it doesn't work. And I went to their website yesterday playing with this thing, and it's there. Pinellas County Fire and EMS is there, but when you push play, nothing happens. So I guess the guy took his radio off that service because the radio is still available on radioreference.com. Anyway, so the other thing I have set up is um, you can have what's called skills, which are kind of like applications on Alexa. And you go to the Amazon store and you enable a skill. That's stuff beyond what normally Alexa will do for you. Um, so I have a skill, for instance, to give me a local news. Well, local and national news. That's what you heard at the beginning. Anyway, the sound quality is fantastic. Unfortunately, I don't have any music that this thing can get to that's not copyrighted. So I can't play any music to show you the sound quality. You just have to believe me that it is good. It's very good. Um, it, in a, that's where all the weight is, is in those speakers, stereo speakers. Uh, what I could have done, which I didn't think about, because I was kind of in a hurry, because I don't know how long this is going to stay on sale. And I know the one thing that why they haven't been sucked up is because the reviews on Amazon are like 3.5. A lot of people didn't like it because it was too complicated or whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> I've had no problems. But, again, I've installed Alexa and Google Home, so I've been there. Um, <clears throat> let's turn the microphone back on. And now the light goes off, <clears throat> and I should be able to talk to the lady. Alexa, news. And it's blinking. Yeah, I got the volume down. Local news from Fox 13. I'm Chris Cato. As the search continues for a serial bank robber, you may have seen the new approach on your way to work. Digital billboards going up across Tampa Bay offering Alexa, a 35,000... stop. So... It works fine. Um, <clears throat> I actually use that uh, report, I'll call it. They do mm -hmm. the dollar reward. No, for the I said stop. On the man Alexa, shot a security guard. stop. Art and a good Samaritan at GTE Financial in Brandon. On He's talking so loud, she can't understand me. Alexa, stop. There we go. Um, I actually use that report to put me asleep because it's the local news and then the national news. And can get real boring in a hurry, so <laughs> it puts me to sleep. I have an, I have the Echo Dot next to my bed. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm a big fan of Alexa and Google Mini. I, I you know, I'm getting kind of old and brain dead. I use these apps a lot. Like, my spelling has just gone down the toilet. I can't spell anything. So I ask Alexa or Mini Google how you spell something, and then I type it in, whatever I'm typing in. So I use Alexa a lot. So maybe I'm, bi yeah, I'm biased. I'm biased for Alexa products. Actually, another thing is, before I forget, the Alexa or Echo Hockey Puck, hockey puck that's the one that's just the input. Here's something I found on the web. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm saying something that turns your back on. <laughs> uh, let me turn the mic off here. There we go, mic off. There we go. Um, um, right now, um, I haven't checked today, but yesterday or the day before when I bought this, they had the, elect the Echo Alexa hockey puck, which has no speaker. So you have to add your external speaker. It's the Alexa input. <clears throat> and since I moved my Alexa into my bedroom, I miss it in my office where I can ask it how to spell things. So they got this little hockey puck for $9.99. Oh my gosh, and all you have to do is add a speaker. So I got one of those two. I haven't set it up. So I babbled enough. Um, I don't know what else to say about this. The, the power required is... 12 volts. 
So you could make a or buy a 12 volt battery power supply so you can make this portable. I don't know why they didn't include batteries. I don't know why. I, it's kind of strange. And I, that's another complaint that people had was, you know, if you just glanced at it in the edge, you think, well, it, you know, got a handle, must be portable, must have a battery. No, nope, doesn't have a battery. don't understand why they didn't do that. I think I've babbled enough here. Uh, let's see if there's any specs in here. Specs. <clears throat> Power adapter uh, output, that's the one that comes with it, is 12 volts, 2 amps. The speaker output is 8 watts RMS, 2 times 2 speakers. Um, frequency response is 60 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Yeah, okay. Signal to noise ratio is 70 dB. That's all the specs. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. So it's multifunction, it's Wi-Fi, it's Bluetooth, and an auxiliary input. I don't remember, because I didn't bring it down here, I don't remember if they gave you a cable for the auxiliary input. I think they did. It was, if I recall, it's kind of short. Now this power cable that comes with the adapter is really long. It is over three feet long. So that's nice. Anyway, that's it. Um, if you're interested in these, in one of these, I don't think they're going to last very long. Um, but read the reviews. <clears throat> if you see anything in the review on Amazon, <clears throat> excuse me, I lose my voice. That makes you like, oh, okay, yeah, I would have problems too setting it up. Then maybe you don't want to get one. But if you're a hacker like me and you've set up Echoes and Google Minis, it's a piece of cake. It, it, you wa it walks you right through it in the application that you install. It goes step by step, and there's about, I don't know, six or eight steps. And I didn't have a problem at all. I had it set up in five minutes. That's it. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. And have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, you can go through my Amazon store and get one of these. I'm going to put this in my Amazon store. I'm, I'm that impressed with it. Bye-bye.